Welcome to Vibes Lifestyle, inspired living, inspiring you. We joined Elevated Noms for Veganuary, and we were so inspired by the conversations, the essential oils, and the aromas that filled the space as we learned more about vegan culinary experiences and how to elevate our diet. We talked about how we became vegan or what our diet consists of currently if we are not vegan, why we make the choices that we do, and how we can make better choices going forward, being more mindful in our consumption in regard to eco-friendly choices and more healthy options. So that is made with just two, uh, three ingredients, flour, water, and salt. The yeast is all natural. It's made with the naturally led sourdough that I cultured. <laughs> so we are going to pair, we're going to pair um, lime and cilantro with this. And with hummus, I love to get that olive oil right in the center there. So what I'm going to do is to put the lime and uh, cilantro in the oil here and then just mix the oil and then when I give you a bite we'll just get a little just from that oil. The elevated noms menu consisted of bulgar and quinoa tabbouleh, red onions, cucumbers, lemon zest, red bell pepper, fresh parsley and mint paired with lemon and pepper doTERRA oils, avocado hummus toast with sitar spice, homemade vegan sourdough bread topped with Haas avocado and hummus mix, sprinkled with zatar Mediterranean spice, paired with lime and cilantro doTERRA oils, and marjoon activation balls, ground nuts and dates, mixed with honey and rose water, paired with cinnamon doTERRA oil. I like to, I like to cook. So, if I don't know how to cook, you know, those plates that I used to eat in that restaurant, you know, it's hard for me. So. I always told Barbara I need to do like a like a vegan course or vegetarian course, you know, to because I think being vegetarian is not just going to be like the lettuce, the tomatoes, and I would be more, you know. I need to learn like all the things that Alan like Alan cooked today. I will learn to you know cook like that. I'm advocating for vegetarianism and veganism, but that did not work for my body, and I started getting sick. And you know, I like wasn't feeling well. So I'm like, if something's got to change, I have to sh change myself. And I'm going to go on it. So I did that for a while, a vegetarian diet, and then I did macrobiotic. But then a macrobiotic diet, macrobiotic is like brown rice, seaweed, root vegetables, steamed root vegetables, um, and no meat. Okay. But then I found out, I actually gained weight on that diet. I love the brown rice, I love the tahini on top of the brown rice, and I found myself eating the same foods every day. Well, with that, then you develop food allergies. I do occasionally chicken, so I let it go for a long period of time, though. and I'm also eating and some dairy sometimes sparingly. But I don't mean I don't mean like daily or even weekly. Sometimes it's like uh, like very spaced out, and sometimes it's been like years. Like and I was vegetarian full time for like five years straight years ago when I first started waking up. To how, did you, this how did your body feel when you made the transition? I think that's the most important part because it's really the way that you feel. It only lasted three months and then I kind of lost the perception that had me going strong about you know what's happening with the animals, how I wouldn't eat my dog or my cat, and I love animals, not just pets. So I stopped eating the cows, the pigs, the chickens, um, putting them through that torture. Um, and then I lost that because it's like, I'm an animal and tigers eat gazelles and stuff like that. So, <laughs> so I'm like, I should be eating other animals too. But then um, just through like all the energy work that I do and other met forms of medicines, like I learned that there's an energetic aspect to what's happening with the animals how we are what we eat, and we are eating other beings who have energetic vibrations as well, and because they are enduring a lot of trauma throughout their life, and also the way that they are being killed and even tortured, so that way their meat is more tender. 
So that's how I became vegan. I've been vegan probably for, I don't know, I guess about almost 12 years. So, uh, and as far as the tea goes, that's just another support for your health, which detoxifies you, yes, it's anti-aging because of all of the antioxidants, but it's yeah, also- <laughs> Exactly. Without the seafood and the fish, I love it so much. But I have gone vegan. It wasn't like for a diet reason, I was doing something spiritual um, and a fast. And then as a result of that, I realized the benefits and how good it made me feel. Like my face cleared up because I wasn't having a lot of dairy. I love cheese though, so that's why it's hard for me to be vegan because I can just literally have a block of cheese like it's a slice of pizza. I started to learn that I wasn't um, being more conscious about eating full meat. I was just eating little things and not eating full meat. So it's really about eating um, at least five times a day, little small bites, but continue. You want food that's going to be nourishing it for your soul. When my body intuitively needs it, like it's not, I, it's not my choice, it's like, my body, it's craving, it's needing this nutrients, and I just have it. And that's beautiful that you can connect with. The perfect ending to our elevated noms and conscious conversations was Lumizone, a beautiful performance of sacred songs, presence, and journey. Mm -hmm.